This is a simple projectile motion experiment using a launcher. And here's the launcher. You can see the projectile, the little silvery ball and the plumb line. Now the student is loading it by compressing the spring and then a the little lever holds it in place. And she flicks down on the lever and the ball takes off. I'll show you that again in slow motion. Pushes down on the lever and then the ball's projected outwards. Okay, so we did this three times for each angle. So there's the first one, here's the second one. You can see it landing on the carbon paper. And there's the third one, lands on the edge of the carbon paper. Here's the, here's the white. Now here's an example of some of our data. You can see here, we've changed the elevation angle from 20 degrees all the way through to 80 degrees. And then for each angle, we've done three tests. And that's the range, the horizontal range. So at 20 degrees, the first test gave 1.72 metres, then 1.68 metres, and 1.71 metres. And you can see they're clustered pretty close together. The average is 1.7, and then there was some uncertainty. That's just the max minus min over 2. So we've done that for each angle, and then we've plotted the data. You can see down the bottom is the elevation angle from 20 all the way through to 80. And then up the side is the horizontal range, and you can see that's been plotted. Now what you'll notice is that as the elevation angle increases, so does the range up until about 45 degrees, and then it starts to back off and gets less and less. But what you'll notice is that at 30 degrees, there it is there, just over 2 metres, at its um, complementary angle of 60 degrees, uh, it's also about two. So the complements have about the same range as you go across. Okay, but the main point is the maximum is 45 degrees. So that's that.